Capital Club with Rain Bouquets of uh, Rain Bouquets Rivera. Yes. Right? That's your fashion line. Yes. So she's now working on her second collection. She is 24 years old. We're going to chat about her challenges starting a business. Rain, right. how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, starting up, well, let me see. Um, graduating from college, I came to Bahrain um, and I wanted to start my fashion brand, but I wasn't sure what steps to take in, in starting the brand. So I was, while I was still in the process of thinking of my, uh, of like the opportunities I have here and how, how to go about doing that, uh, there was a competition, uh, Bahrain Stop Stylist, it was organized by Bidaya which was basically um, a competition where you had to bring in a model or a friend and style her in an outfit where um, she's wearing a black dress and you had to, um, she had to wear that outfit from, night, from day to night without changing anything. So you had to style the outfit, either, you know, add a blazer or add a scarf, add something where she can wear this outfit from day to night. So um, that was the first round and, and I won that round. And then uh, three of us moved on to the second run, which was a challenge of just, um, there's these bizarre items, which was like, like a fishnet, a pair of scissors, like a piece of fabric, and you had to basically restyle this black dress into, it's like, Im you have to be creative, you know what I mean? Imagine that these were real things, like this like fishnet was an actual, you know, like tool or something, and put that into an outfit and style it that way. And I won that and um, the competition, so I won the competition. And the prize was to get my designs produced and sold in a, in a boutique here in Bahrain. So I think that was a great opportunity and I was very fortunate to win because that gave me the push. Okay, here it is, you know, we're giving everything to you. Here's the support, uh, design the collection, we're going to produce it for you and we're going to sell it in a boutique. So I think I was very fortunate, but the thing, I also had a challenge in the sense that I had to do all, do all this in one month. So I had to, you know, think of the designs, think of the inspiration behind, behind the collection and go, out, go about getting the fabric and where do I get this fabric? I mean, I, I came from New York and, you know, New York is all very colorful and creative and I couldn't find those fabrics here. Honestly, like the fabrics in Bahrain, I feel were more traditional. A lot of the, the designs I see people do here are more traditional. And I came, you know, with these crazy colors and, and, and patterns in my head and I couldn't find anything. So I thought it was a struggle. I had to go to Saudi and go, go to Dubai. And that's where I ended up buying my fabric, fabrics, honestly. I went to Dubai and I bought, I bought most of my fabric. But, um, uh, but yeah, but like I said, it was a challenge to get all of this, you know, done in, in one month. But I did it, and I'm very fortunate for that. And that helped me, you know, start this business. That was like a kick. Like, okay, you graduated. You've you've done. You 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 didn't know what to do in here. They gave it to you. Go ahead. <laughs> so basically, entering a competition yeah. helps. Yeah. And then after you had that first collection, you mm -hmm. were able to sell a second collection to them. You know, what? What are the challenges once you got that boost and then you're sort of, are you on your own? You know, what does that next stage look like? Yeah, currently I'm on my own. Like I said, the first the first step was, was I mean, support all from, from Green Diamond Boutique, Sheikha Farah Al Khalifa, she's the one who supported me. Um, but currently now I'm on my own. So now I'm working on the steps I have to take by myself in order to get my second um, collection going, which is what I'm working on right now. I haven't launched my collection yet. I'm working on taking the steps, which is getting a commercial registration, getting getting a tailor in order to produce to produce my my clothing. So that's what I'm working on right now. Excellent. Um, so, what would you advise other young women? Uh, what would you advise other young women who are thinking about starting a business? What steps? I mean, would you say for sure enter a competition? How did you prepare? Okay, first of all, if you're talking in the sense of the fashion field, like get into as many you know fashion, uh, fashion events, fashion opportunities as much as you can. You know, um, when I was in New York, I went to I went to fashion night night out. You know, mingling with with the, t with the crowd that are already in that field. So I think that's that's something you can do. I, I, like I said, like a competition. Like you never know what might happen, and oppor the opportunities are everywhere. You just have to like know where to look. So definitely do as many you know fashion fashion events and fashion competitions. Join that, and um, another thing is getting the proper education to prepare you 
you know, like I said, um, everyone, everyone can, anyone can design, anyone can draw something, and especially here, um, you can you can show a picture to a tailor, and they can they can do it, you know. But I mean, if you want to be original and you want to have, you know, your 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 own style and how to go about doing that, definitely get the education because that's what prepares you for for the industry and not just that you're going to actually appreciate the type of work you're doing because you're going to know what it takes to construct a garment and i i honestly didn't know <laughs> what it took to construct a garment and how long it took and now i appreciate things more when i look at when i look at something priced at like 500 dinars and i'm like why is this priced at 500 dinars this that's what i used to think before now i look at it and i'm like because i know how long it takes to construct this like you think it looks simple but it takes a lot of work to construct a garment to put pieces together and the fit to some for something to fit properly like you learn that in pattern making in fashion school so definitely get a, an education and so just finally you know as a as a young female founder do you ever have challenges you know managing i don't know how many people work for you or you're maybe you're just dealing with tailors yeah i'm just starting own. off right now so okay, so you don't have a team no not yet okay. <laughs> have you had any challenges or any moments where you felt like people weren't taking you seriously in any way shape or form as a woman or as a young entrepreneur well when i was producing my my first collection i didn't have my own tailors but i was I used the tailors of the boutique, so um, so I had to like deal deal with them, and um, and yeah, I felt like because they were much older than me, and for me to give them that the order to do things, and sometimes it's not done the way I want it to, and I had to kind of you know, um, how do I say like you know, try to say to them in like the nicest way possible of because they're older than me, and there still has to be you know like I, I respect them obviously. But um, but yeah, it was definitely a challenge just speaking with them because uh, one of the tailors was actually Thai, so she didn't really speak English very well. So it was it was a kind of a challenge to well, so, but, but communicate with her. In the general case, what would mm -hmm. you advise young women? Is there any moment you know? What would you advise them if they're nervous about founding a company on their own? Um, As women. If they're nervous, I mean, you have to be passionate, you know, you have to, you have to really want something and be dedicated and motivated and go after it, you know, like if, if you really want something, if you want something to, if you want to make something happen, you have to do it. You're, you're, you're the only person that can, you know what you want, go after it and make it happen. Thank you so much for chatting with Thank us. Thank you so much for having me.